RabbitMQ is a message broker, which means it facilitates communication between different systems by enabling the sending and receiving of messages, such as between different parts of an application, between different applications or microservices. It works with a producer that sends a message and a consumer that receives it. These messages can contain instructions or just be text messages. It's important to note that RabbitMQ is based on the AMQP for Advanced Message Queuing Protocol, an open standard protocol that ensures message interoperability between different systems. When a producer sends a message, it is stored in an exchange, which is responsible for receiving messages from producers and directing them to queues based on specific rules. The queue is where messages are received by consumers. To link a queue to an exchange, you need to establish a binding, which is a connection between the two. The binding specifies the criteria for message delivery. Messages can include a routing key to determine which binding they should pass through. This allows messages to be distributed in various ways, depending on the configuration of bindings and routing keys. Based on predefined rules, RabbitMQ can either send a message to all connected queues without sorting, or perform direct exchanges by sending the message to specific queues, or even be more flexible by sending messages based on topics. It's also possible for multiple consumers to consume the same queue. Overall, RabbitMQ is like a postal service for your applications. The producer is like someone sending a letter. The exchange acts as the post office, sorting and directing the letters to the appropriate destination. The queue is the mailbox where the letters are stored, and the consumer is the person who picks up the letter from the mailbox. RabbitMQ is particularly suitable for asynchronous communication, where tasks are processed in the background while the main application continues to respond to requests. It also offers storage when no consumer is available to receive the message. But also, it acts like a notification system by routing messages in real time. Then, by facilitating message exchange, RabbitMQ acts as a mediator between different heterogeneous applications, ensuring smooth communication and enabling integration. This makes RabbitMQ a type of middleware known as a message-oriented middleware, or MOM. RabbitMQ helps manage this communication by ensuring that messages are reliably sent and received. RabbitMQ ensures messages are not lost, even if a consumer is down or busy. Finally, RabbitMQ also simplifies communication in a distributed system like microservices. Additionally, RabbitMQ can help integrate legacy systems by acting as a bridge between old and new systems. Finally, let's distinguish between Apache Kafka and RabbitMQ, as they are often confused. RabbitMQ is an excellent solution for lightweight message processing in distributed applications, while Apache Kafka is more suited for massive real-time data streams, handling up to millions of messages per second. And as it happens, I also have a video dedicated to Kafka that I highly recommend checking out. Thank you for watching this video. If it helped you, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if you know someone who might benefit from it, feel free to share it with them. See you soon with a new video.